Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Kenny Wallace Show. What is going on in NASCAR? I think we should rename it like a soap opera. Days of our lives. <laughs> wow. So big announcement. Let's do all the disclaimers first. Let's bring you up to speed. So uh, Denny Hamlin holds a press conference. And we think it's just going to be, a, not we, but I know what's going on. Denny Hamlin has this press conference going on. And the media just thinks it's going to be about him. And, you know, maybe the wreck between him and Ross Chastain at Atlanta. Well, this uh, this press conference took like a 180. <laughs> he brings, Denny Hamlin brings Tyler Reddick, the driver that just got done winning his first cup race, winning his first cup race, who drives for Richard Childress. So let's go through that again. Denny Hamlin brings in, surprisingly, Tyler Reddick, the number eight, who drives for Richard Childress, and announces that Tyler Reddick is going to drive for the owner, Denny Hamlin, and his co-owner, the great Michael Jordan, the NBA player. Everybody's like, what? Now it gets even crazier. Tyler Reddick is not going to drive for Michael Jordan and Denny Hamlin next year in 2023. They announced he's going to drive for them in 2024, a year and a half from now. What's up? Okay, so that's the storyline. Here's my disclaimer before I give you my opinion. I love Richard Childress, Hall of Famer, good friend of the family. I drove a Bush Grand National car for him at Gateway when Jimmy John's was the sponsor. We love Richard Childress, okay? I love Richard. I always got to do that because sometimes people think I'm picking on somebody. Now, let's put that over here, okay? I like Richard Childress. Okay, okay, Kenny. We get it. Now, let's talk about it. What is going on at RCR? Why is Richard not able to keep these drivers? Okay, you say, well, what are you talking about, Lawless? Kevin Harvick left him. Clint Boyer left him. I mean, this list can get kind of long. Now, I'm not condemning Richard. I'm asking everybody out there, why can Richard Childress not keep drivers? Why do drivers keep believing him? I think it's a great team. Must be a great team because they win, right? So that's that. That's number one. Why can Richard Childress not keep drivers? Must be money. Yeah. Now, we know Richard's got plenty of money. We know that. Everybody in racing knows that. But is there, you know, I don't know. Are the other teams offering, you know, did they offer Harvick way more? Did, you know, did they offer Clint Boyer way more? Of course, when the Harvick and Boyer got hired away, it was at Tony Stewart's team. So, you know, maybe that's a little less. But still, the drivers are gone. Now, here we go again. Let's start. Danny Hamlin puts out this tweet with a little, little chess, little chess. You know, like we're going to play chess like here's my piece your move next i believe the reason that denny hamlin and michael jordan signed tyler reddick for two years from now basically is because they're going to make richard childress play this hand right now let me play it out for you i'm richard childress Okay, Tyler Reddick, you want to leave me? Then get out the door right now. I believe, my opinion, is that's what Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan want. They signed him up, hoping to piss Richard off, and maybe Reddick, you know, or maybe Childress go leave, and then that way maybe Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan get him next year. I mean, hey, listen. They, they both can be brutal. Owners can be brutal. Owners can go, hey, you ain't talented enough. We're going to hire Bale Earnhardt Sr. You know, you ain't talented enough. For you. So the, the owners that get you. So you got to get the owners before they get you, if possible. Got to get the owners before they get you. Now, it, it, the dynamics are changing in NASCAR. Because now you got Brad Keselowski as an owner. 
Denny Hamlin is an owner. See what's going on here. The original owners are from the old school, you know, born in the late 30s, early 40s. They're tough guys going to smash your mouth in. Let's fight. Now you got this new type of NASCAR owners coming in, you know, like a Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski, and the list is going to keep getting bigger and bigger. So here we are. You know, what's going to happen? Uh, can you imagine Tyler Reddick walking in to RCR? You know all the crew members are going to go, buddy, we just won you a race. Why are you leaving us? So I make these little notes. Let's read this note here. All right. What's going on at RCR? They lose drivers. I believe the 23 team announced. Yeah. So I think that's it. Um, we're going to wait and see, but I predict, my opinion, it does not benefit me to be right, but my opinion is that Richard Childress, uh, he's got to move on. You, you can't keep a driver for a year and a half. So you heard it here from the Herminator. I think Reddick is gone at the end of this year. Danny Hamlin does something with him. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not like, uh, well, here, hold on back. Let's back up. Danny Hamlin said he called David Wilson at TRD at Toyota and said, we need to go get this Tyler Reddick. And Toyota said, go get him. So I don't think Tyler Reddick's going to sit around all next year uh, when what I think will happen. I believe, once again, for the fourth time in this little speech I'm giving you, my opinion, I think Richard will go get the hell out of here. And Denny Hamlin's going to go, thank you very much. That's exactly what we was wanting. So, all right, I guess that's it. Um, this NASCAR is getting wilder and wilder. I even see it's going on over in Formula One with this Palu or, or, or no, it, it, I tell you, it was Chip Ganassi. Chip Ganassi's team comes on Twitter and goes, hey, we just signed uh, this driver up. And that driver comes on Twitter and goes, I'm not signed with them. <laughs> That's big. That's big. So what are we? We're in the middle of July, June. No, we're in the middle of July already. Holy moly, this year went by. So it's that time. Everybody's got to get things wrapped up by August because that's the way, you know, whatever calendar year sponsors are. But it seems like now that's that's not even working that way. So uh, let's see if I'm right. Come back on here and tell me, Herman, you was wrong. He, he's, we'll have fun with it. So all right. My family keeps texting in. You ever got those family chats where you got like, you know, I, look at this. What is she wanting to do? That's Brittany. Family chats are crazy. When my three daughters, my wife gets going, it's like ding, 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 ding. All right, everybody. I love you. Thank you for watching the Kenny Wallace Show, and we'll be back again with more.